And getting into that, though, you don't win MVP last year, um, which I thought you probably should have won MVP last year. How did that How did that feel, number one, and then spark you going into the playoffs to make the run and have the uh, playoff stretch that you did? Yeah, that hurt. That that hurt me to the core, actually. I don't think I've ever felt that low in my career, uh, mm-hmm. honestly, because it just, I really felt like, I guess my thing was, okay, if I didn't get it, but that fourth place, like being third and fourth, really crazy like that really like that is what did it like not getting it i was like man i gotta charge it to the game you know i get it voter voters fatigue whatever you want to say cool but being third and fourth was like absolutely not like it struck my core i was like no they are playing with me at this point and i mean it just kind of it honestly did fuel me and i think it fueled like my team as well like we were just like now wait a minute like we've been disrespected probably throughout this whole season they already said super team. They called us a super team. And we're like, we're literally playing on one leg. Uh, but okay. And I think it just kind of fueled us in a way that was like, how are we the number one seed and still the underdogs? Like y'all really just don't believe in us ever. And that's okay. Cause now we have to continue to prove to y'all why we're the number one team. And like, I, I was, I was excited. Like I was so ready to get back on court. Cause I was like, all right, it's time to play now. Like that's out the way. Y'all voted. Now let's play the game. Let me prove to y'all why I felt like I deserve something better than third and fourth. So yeah, that that kind of kind of shook me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of super teams, uh, obviously, I've been a part of one. Um, yeah. Which, I mean, I still question whether I was a part of a super team. Be that our team was so homegrown like yes KD did come on a team but it was a homegrown team and I feel like y'all were the same way like yeah Kelsey may not have been drafted there or Chelsea right. may not have been drafted there but y'all were great when y'all got those players right and, and getting those players y'all then built that to be great had you had Bill Lambert as a coach then moves on to y'all hire y'all y'all then go on um to hire who in my opinion no questions asked is the best coach in the WNBA by far, Becky Hammond. 100%. Um, but this was all, a, uh, this wasn't like, oh, we plucked this player and now we go to championships. Is 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 that your feeling? Because I know that's how I feel about ours. Is yes. that your feeling on y'all? Yes, 100%. Like Looking for a super offer for Super Bowl 58? DraftKings Sportsbook has you covered. New customers can bet the big game. Bet just five bucks. That's it, five bucks. And get 150 bucks in bonus bets instantly. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Takes about 90 seconds. Use the code Colin, C-O-L-I-N. New customers bet five bucks, get 150 instantly in bonus bets for the big game. DraftKings, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Remember, redeem code Colin, C O L I N. The crown is yours. Kelsey, obviously, number one draft pick. She played in San Antonio, but then the next year, Vegas. Then it was me, then it was Jackie. And like, we were grind. Like, I remember my rookie year, we didn't make it to playoffs. Like, we were trying to grind out wins and form a fan base to be like, come watch us. And like, we were, it's funny because we were just talking about, we we're like, there were times when we would have a meeting and be like, what are we doing? Like, where do we want to go with this? How do we win? Like, we were questioning how to win. And it just took us all being like, all right, we're going to get in the gym and we're going to work our hardest. Like, no one's going to outwork us. And so that's why I kind of felt some type of way when they kept calling us a super team, because I'm like, we didn't just go pick everybody and was like, make it work. Like, this was something that we were building. And obviously, we just got great additions that Mm -hmm. wanted to come. And it's funny how it all, at the end, it really came down to me, Chelsea, uh, me, Kelsey, and Jackie. Like, it's like, it, it, and that was supposed to prove to everybody, like, this was it. The whole time, this was it. And that's the part that I was so happy for. And that was, like, probably why the second championship was just that much greater than the first one. Because I'm like, a lot of y'all, one, wanted us to lose, but two, could not believe that we really did it with our core that we've been having since day one. Mm-hmm. And like that right there, I definitely feel the same way. Cause I'm like, we literally have been doing the same thing we've been doing every year. Like same thing. And we just so happen to be really good. Cause we just put the work in, Absolutely. but yeah, if that's the super team, then okay. But no, they're acting like we just were like, 
going to different gyms and be like, yeah, we want her. We want her. We want her. Okay, play. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I definitely, I definitely thought it was a lot sweeter. Um, as you, as you may or may not know, I'm a huge Candace Parker fan. Has been since watching her in the dunk contest in high school. <laughs> and then to, to Tennessee on through WNBA with the Sparks, then the Sky, and now uh, her being with the Aces. But I thought it was a lot to say for number one, uh, CP getting hurt early in the year and missing missing a lot of the year. But yeah. then at the very end, C. Gray getting hurt. And like you yeah. said, it, bo- it boiling down to just y'all having to close it out with, with kind of what you started with. Yep. <laughs> and it shut all the naysayers up. You know how I viewed that? I viewed that and now, you know, CP is my teammate, Chris Paul. Uh, but years ago, um, I think it was 2018, if I'm not mistaken, KD got hurt. I mean, yeah. CP, no, we were, we were playing the Houston Rockets and CP gets hurt. Uh, and when, when, when CP got hurt, they like, ah, oh, CP didn't get hurt. Y'all was done. And then KD got hurt. And we're like, all right, now we're faced with the same thing. We're at a deficit. KD's out. And now it's just us three. And we, we, and we came back and won. And so to me, that was one of the sweetest series to win mm-hmm. because everything y'all said about us, you cried to KD in the car. Y'all, you couldn't do this. Y'all couldn't do that. Y'all had to. And it boiled back down to us having to get it done. And it made it all the more sweeter for me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I definitely get that. But um, for you, having a player like Candace Parker around who's done it at the level that she's done it at for so many years, what benefit was that to you um, and just being able to then team up with her and kind of pluck at some of that knowledge that she has? Oh, it was incredible. Like, I have never was so excited just to have a person like Candace in our locker room just to pick her brain. I mean, it's it's just amazing just to compete against her in practice when we could. And then just to have her constantly just being in my ear. And I remember like before we went into the New York series, we sat down and I was just like, how do we do this? Like, how do I do this as a person that the light is beaming on? How do I do this? And she was like, be you like, and it's so simple. And I was like, I knew exactly what she meant. I was like, I can't do anything different can't force anything. I just have to go out there and be me and my team will follow. But just having her encouraging words on the sidelines, just still just practicing with her. And I hate, like when she got hurt, we were just right in the groove too. We were like, dang. Uh, But it was just tons of fun just to like, just to play along somebody that's, she's my GOAT, Hall of Famer, hands down. So just to share a locker room with her and, and just her mind, uh, man, it was it was a lot of fun just to have her around, and I'm super excited just to see kind of what her future holds. Candice is a hooper. She's a hooper and a trooper through and through, and I'm so glad that I could be able to just be a part of her journey because we had a lot of fun. We brought out the youth a little bit out of her. It was, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs>